An Austin, Texas woman with cancer hopes Twitter can help save her life. It is part of her effort to pressure a pharmaceutical company into giving her an experimental drug. Anna Werner looks at the battle, drawing big name support. All right, we're good. Is it looking good? We're looking good. 45-year-old Andrea Sloan is fighting a seven-year battle against ovarian cancer and losing. I've had several rounds of traditional chemotherapy. I've had two full rounds of radiation. I've had five major surgeries. All of that in seven years? Yes. Now Sloan's oncologist, Dr. Charles Levenbach, says she needs something new. He thinks her best hope for survival is an experimental drug, not yet approved by the FDA, called BMN-673, made by Biomarin Pharmaceuticals. He says she needs it now. Andrea Sloan is in the position where she's now had several relapses and has exhausted the standard treatments we have for those relapses. And that's why it's so compelling to find for her something novel that's different from everything that she's had before. The problem? Sloan can't get into a clinical trial for that drug. But the FDA does offer another route for patients like Sloan, something called compassionate use, which allows drug companies to offer experimental drugs outside of clinical trials to desperately ill patients. This represents new hope for you. Uh, Amazing new hope, yes. So Sloan and Dr. Levenbeck asked Biomarin for the drug, but the company said no. In an email to Sloan, Chief Medical Officer Henry Fuchs wrote that despite the drug's promising early results, we do not know yet whether it works and in whom it works. John and Karen Sloan are Andrea's parents. I'd like to understand why. I don't understand. It's her last hope. It makes a mockery in my view um, of a statement that that there is such a thing as, as compassionate use of drugs. BioMarin declined our request for an on-camera interview. In a statement, it said its focus is on doing the greatest good for the greatest number of patients. And although it does support compassionate use, the company says it is too early to know if the experimental therapy is safe or effective or will even prolong life. Dr. Levenbach says BioMarin's response is one he hears all too often from drug companies. I cannot recall in my practice in the last 10 years a patient who, who got compassionate use of a, a drug. Not one patient in 10 years? I, I can't recall it. I also haven't had a patient as outspoken, assertive, um, determined to make a difference as Andrea Sloan either. Sloan's Twitter campaign, directed at BioMarin, has now gotten the attention of people like Winona Judd and Newt Gingrich. Her petition drive on change.org has collected more than 30,000 signatures. At the end of my life, I just want it to be said that I took the cards I was given. I found joy in everyone. And when it got really tough, I just held my head up. And I kept my hope. And I just inspired people to never give up. For CBS This Morning, Anna Werner, Dallas.